Hi, I'm Joseph Peronto, and this is my last lecture. I was born on February 16, 2003, in Monterey Park, California. I was raised by my two loving parents, Leah and Roy Peronto. My parents met at Sydney, Australia in 1998, when my father had just graduated at Macquarie University in Sydney, and my mother was a flight attendant who worked for Qantas. Two years later, they moved to America and they married. Looking back throughout my childhood, life was a blessing with my parents besides me, and raising me to the person I am today. With my loud, outgoing mom, and my shy, quiet dad, they are proof that opposites do attract. They have sacrificed so much for my sister and I, and they have also showered us with never-ending love. My life also wouldn't have been complete without my older sister. She's my personal Uber, my fashion police, and my friend of me. Although we have gotten into many fights, our friendship outweighs the conflicts we've had. We escape trouble together from our parents, we defend each other from any problems, and we've helped each other climb the obstacles that life has presented to us so far. I was a child who never rested as soon as I learned how to walk. I was always yelling, destroying toys, running around, and fighting with my sister. I was surprised that my parents were able to raise me. There's only one thing I admired as a little child, and it was Spider-Man. Spider-Man became a major part of my childhood life. Every birthday party I had was themed Spider-Man, and every Halloween I was dressed as Spider-Man. I would run around the house in a Spider-Man costume, climbing walls, fighting criminals, and I would always be doing these famous hand pose. I was then introduced to a sport I loved growing up, basketball. My father forced me to join a basketball team. I didn't want to play. I'm grateful that my parents did not take me out of the sport. As I got older and older, I began to love playing basketball. I joined multiple teams, which led me to playing every day. Joining a basketball team did not only sharpen my basketball skills, it taught me that the sport itself is much like life. There are ups and downs, and failures and successes throughout everyone's career. I was able to make many close friends and meet many coaches that has molded me into who I am today. Each and every game with my teammates has strengthened and deepened my friendship with them. I have grown in an affection for the outside world since I was really young. My parents have taught me to love the outdoors. As a child, my parents would always drag my sister and I to hiding trails. I didn't want to go, I just wanted to stay indoors. As I got older, I started to look at nature's beauty through a different perspective. Learning that our planet's beauty is exponentially diminishing I wanted to enjoy it while it lasts. The outdoors has been my escape from reality. I find freedom outside. Freedom to me means that when I'm there, there's no thoughts, no pressure, no fear, and no self-doubt. Whenever I'm, I'm sorry, I would always look forward to hiking, snowboarding, swimming, or biking to the beach. Leaving school districts was one of the scariest events in my middle school years. I knew it was going to be hard on me, socially and academically. After saying my last goodbyes to my elementary school friend from three years, I felt both scared and hopeless without them. During the beginning of my seventh grade, I only knew my neighbor. Since we both moved schools, we both started off with no friends. We ate on the floor, we walked alone to classes, and we entered classes filled with unfamiliar faces. Then came basketball season. I made many friends through basketball. Everything after that went uphill. I made so many lifelong friendships during middle school and high school. Every friend that I've made, I thank. Without them, every day wouldn't have been filled with joy and laughter. We've created so many memories with each other. Memories filled with laughter, with stupidness and foolishness. There are too many to count. At times of happiness and sorrow, they have always been inseparable. The lasting friendships I've made during the early stages of my life has been a blessing, and there's nothing I could do to pay them back. Each and every one of my best friends have built onto my character, and each of them themselves are worth more than all the treasures of the world. If any of you guys consider me as your friend, I just want to say thanks. Thanks for making every ordinary moment extraordinary. Thank you for making the extra effort to understand me. Thank you for accepting me just the way I am, 
And most of all, thank you guys for being yourselves. We are only at the early stages of life, and with the time I've been alive, I will never forget the friendships I've created. If I had to leave with the one lesson, it would be this. Surround yourself with friends, friends that you can trust. <laughs> dude, dude. As an added bonus, you guys will be seeing top secret information. Thanks for watching!